Warsh. Whatever. Warsh. Okay. Like, and I also agree, Doomsday Clock, I do like, even though I know it is not the best, and I like the HBO show. It's just that the phrase, like, sequel to Watchmen means fucking nothing now to me. It's like, oh yeah, like, there's five of them now. That's a thing, <laughs> I guess. That existed. And to be kind of honest, I'm like, like, oh, we're making a sequel Watchmen. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I kind of feel like at this point, DC just makes them because they know Alan Moore's going to be like, I'm going to put a hex on it because I'm a Rasputin wizard. I, <laughs> like, I just wish for DC that, you know, there was cool stuff that I liked. I really liked Peacemaker. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking fun. up on enemies. The trick is he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. Oh. oh, he's Ooh. talking about the piranha. Oh, it's class. a Metal Gear game. Huh. <laughs> it's Metal Gear then. No, this is like oh, Metal Gear Solid before Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> oh, I could have sworn it would have been like Death Stranding though, but that's a different story. Whoa, that was I... a close one. Okay. Get up there. I need what to get back into Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Well, like, I've heard so, like. Hmm? So, what? I have played 80 hours of Death Stranding. I need yeah, to get back into it. Like it's two? been a couple months. You were saying okay. like and the two? I still haven't beaten the story, and at the same time, the story in Death Stranding is the absolute worst part of Death Stranding. Fucking so, garbage. So let me get okay. so I guess Koji so I guess that when you let Kojima off the handle, he basically can't write a coherent story because he has too many ideas. Like that is the a themes in, are super interesting in Death Stranding. I I like I actually totally dig the ideas that they're going for but at the same time the biggest problem with the storytelling of death stranding is that um so you'll be in a cutscene and they'll explain this big stupid complicated sci-fi thing that doesn't actually really matter uh to like explain a gameplay mechanic and then it's like okay i kind of understand what you're talking about then you'll get into gameplay and then you'll get a codec call and it's like hey here's an explanation of this big stupid sci-fi thing i'm like Cool, you just told me this. And oh, then you'll dear. keep going and you'll get another call from somebody else who will explain the same thing again. And it's like every single like cutscene does this. It and, is so uh, fucking bad. Hey Robin. I love Death Stranding. Robin. Hi. Hi. <laughs> just take a moment on what this dude is saying. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave the roads, and you still walk over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, just try to pound me, wimp. Do, so you, you, so uh, hey, you want us your... I mean, Kinky. you can't just handle things with some civility, dude. I mean, Wolfhead ain't here, so I can't do that. I'm sorry. Do what? <laughs> do oh, no! To... Oh! Oh, sex joke. Yeah, sex joke. <laughs> oh, sex joke. Oh, uh, do I have to do this all joke. over again? Yep. I mean, yep. this really is Death Stranding. Dude, do your <laughs> fucking body slam. I, I, do, I, I love do just like, comparing things to Death Stranding now. I do I like, just like, there is one thing I do like of what I have seen of Death Stranding, and I like the meta commentary when you get into your first boss fight and the guy's literally like, isn't this what you wanted? Aren't you tired of the grind? Uh, yeah, it's, I like the idea of Death Stranding, but like, cons pretty much everybody's attraction over how okay, it's just basically just a walk. Sad. Hold on, <laughs> no, oh, crushed oh, again. No, crushed I'm just again. a stepping stone after all. I won't grovel or grovel. Here you win. Take this, but the Gro girl's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! It doesn't need to be like this. You don't have no, to. No, oh. it doesn't need to be like that, bro. Oh, no suicidal de prevention would any help him, honestly. Would any help? Would any help him? I don't any listen. I am tired. Hold <laughs> on. Fucking I'm hell. sick. And I can still language. speak coherently. Fuck you. I think. I think we. I think we found the quote of 2022. <laughs> 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 no, I, I don't think I'm going. By the way, uh -huh. did you no. notice uh -huh. that in uh -huh. the, um, but Bop, um, also, yes, Death Stranding. Stranding. Good. What Dana was Damn, shut talking. the fuck up, yeah. Dana, was up. Dana was trying to talk. Oh, shit, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Did you notice that in Bob Um's Battlefield, once you defeat King Bob Um, instead of two bolts rolling in that pit, 
there are three bolts, and it's theory that that's actually his dead body. Oh God! I need I a minute to process some. that. I think you broke someone. <laughs> I, feel like I don't I blame him. I, I'm gonna. That's just not surprising to me at the very least. I don't know. Excuse me for Mario's tell his exploded corpse's so... story. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> so that one theory about Mario actually being a menace to society still holds up. Yes. After all this yeah. time. You know God what? Yeah. It, Matt, Pat. Fuck it, yeah. No, like, there was also, like, because it was said in the manual that in the original Mario Brothers, all those, uh, bra uh, those, bra those blocks. Those bricks were actually toads? Yeah, those were actually toads. I'm like, good God, dude, that's horrifying. Now, imagine that theory, like, imagine that feeling. When you're gigantic Mario in New Super Mario Brothers. Mm. Oh. oh god, no. Genocide. No. I can see even, that. Mass even genocide. Pipe, <laughs> even pipes are nothing against you. Yeah. That's why Bowser wants him to stay away from him. Even though he keeps taking the princess every time. <laughs> he's, he's trying the to save who... the princess from the homicidal maniac. Absolutely, that's what I was trying to say. Like, he's trying even... to save, like... Basically save the princes away from her, from him. I don't know. But. You know, when ba you think about it, it was Bowser who turned them into bricks, though. That is a thing. Okay, That's that is fair. true. Yeah, that is fair. But also, I was about to say like something about um, because like we already know about that bizarre casting choice of having Chris Pratt as Mario instead of you know Charles Martinet. I guess that's another to explain about Chris Pratt. He's so cool. Cause that's what he says. <laughs> get oh, get Mr. Hoot Hoot. Get Mr. Hoot Hoot. Get over oh, so, here! It, so what I'm hearing from, you know, Bowser do, Bowser turns them all into bricks, Mario kills all of them. So what I'm hearing is that Luigi's the only good person in Mario. Mario's yeah, yeah. a good place. I mean, yeah. unless you... I Luigi. He even goes unless... to the trouble of going through a haunted mansion just to find his fucking brother. How else do you explain the, from... the, the, the good deeds <laughs> of... Luigi, I mean, <laughs> the good boy. I just out loud. Luigi. I just out loud just said, "I want to make out with Luigi," and I don't know what that it. means. <laughs> 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 Why um, I this oh my god! Hey, uh, just, uh, you, Rob. Do you everybody, want me to everybody, everybody, hold on. Somebody was trying to say something. What? Someone was trying to say something. Who? Uh, I don't know who. I think it was Galaxy. You sure? It sounded like a he. Uh, it was Galaxy. Wait, Def, was it you? Uh, could have been the Galaxy and Death. Could have been Riley. At the same time. I Riley, was giggling about, about my own stupid line. Ah, <laughs> uh, the hell? Oh, I didn't click on that. Dude. Well, I've got the I've got a perfect way to break the silence, though. Huh? What? So according to another game theory, Luigi has a massive dick. <laughs> <laughs> I do know about the Luigi has a massive dick theory. Uh, <laughs> Why is that a That has nothing piece? to do with my wanting to make out okay, with the reason you know? a, the, the reason oh, that the reason that's a thing is because on one of the newest tennis games, if you look at one of the like images, mm -hmm. fucking Luigi has <laughs> Luigi has a fucking ball and everybody noticed it. <laughs> of course they did. Of course the internet would. <laughs> Listen, I'm saying Nintendo in the Switch era has gotten more horny than ever before. Like first we had <laughs> Luigi bulge. Then they put up Mario feet pics. Like, do you remember that one? Oh, oh my god. god. There's, a, there's, like, there's, also, there's also Princess Zelda's hitbox. Oh, this is starting to turn one. into... This is starting to turn into that fucking shit that people have thought about with the Little Mermaid. Like, when you see the um, the box penis. cover, the original... Oh, the yeah, yeah, there's the dildo in the background. There's also, the like, a boner on a priest that was meant to be a uh. kneecap. <laughs> that was supposed to be a kneecap? Not, yeah, that's a huge dude. ass kneecap. I want to make out with Luigi too, man. Robin, Robin, <laughs> you want Robin, me to make fan Robin? art of that? You, I mean, if he, if you, all my missions are open. Robin, <laughs> down girl, I, down girl. I feel. Listen, I'm I reading like the chat. Somebody in chat was agreeing with me about making out with Luigi. Honestly, I mean, unless you also forget the uh, creepy pasta that turned him into a villain. That's also true. Also, I just remembered the, um, remember back yeah. in the Wii U era when Hello, Nintendo Disney. once said that Waluigi is uncircumcised? Hello. I'm sorry? Hello. 
Michael. Am I the only one who knows about the Waluigi was uncircus thing? I'm just gonna. Fuck! Welcome to this conversation, Aeon. Yeah. What have we missed? I don't know. Everything! Are talking about Luigi's <laughs> massive dick? What yeah, we're talking about one? Luigi's dick. He has a massive dick, apparently. Apparently, one of them was circumcised or something. Okay, so wait, just... how, how do you know Luigi has a massive dick? What is the apparently source? The, the big game, bald man. from Switch, from the Mario Tennis Switch. <laughs> ah. I, I'm the same, this is like... probably like a pair article, but at the same time, I just remember this article, and it's one of my favorite things on the internet. Yeah, that's a parody <laughs> article. Hard drive, oh, I, hard drive is like a troll, it's, it's like similar to the onion and the hard times. But listen, doesn't the Nintendo confirms Waluigi is uncircumcised for some reason? The funniest I'm, goddamn article title. I'm going to knock okay, over my microphone what? again. I... I mean, I, I don't even wanna. No. Um, oh, fuck that! That's oh. a hurt. <coughs> you got knocked the I fuck just, out. I just, I just find it hilarious that like, like this is Nintendo characters we're talking about. People you'd never associate with talks like this, and yet. I'm sorry, people you'd never. Uh, the opposite <laughs> of that comment, please. What? I have seen the internet. This is yeah. exactly the conversation <laughs> that happens. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you don't think Nintendo seen... would do it themselves. Reggie probably does it himself. In private. I mean, you're in private. Yes. <laughs> but, but here's the thing, logic. Here's the thing. <coughs> there is specific rules. I know Nintendo is not Disney. But the reason there is so much Disney porn out there is because anything that the artists draw during their time at Disney is owned by the company. So just to get yep. back at them, they literally just draw Disney porn. So if this is what's going on at Disney, this is the society. We live in a society. I've heard about anyway, this. Anyway. We live in a society. We live in a society. <laughs> we live in a society in a saturated society. by porn. <laughs> so, Dusk. yes. Dusky, it, um, it's kind of funny you mentioned that because I think I remember there was the incident where, like, the creator of American Dragon, Jake Long, said that yep. when he was making the show, they brought him into a studio, they started to talk to him, and they mentioned the the aspect of porn being made of his show. And how did they introduce it to him? By literally showing him Kim Possible porn and telling him, this is what's gonna happen to your show. Yes. Yep, that is a true story. these days, you have to recognize that your characters will be made into hentai. Yeah. Put it Which like is yeah. a very funny story, honestly. Yes. And you know, the way will be, become porn. That it's kind of like, I remember years back, when I first met Keyframe, she actually had her own song, which was literally yeah. like another type of, like, there, the internet is for porn. Well, she had one called, There's Porn of Everything. Yes. <laughs> that is there accurate. Is. Remember that. Very remember, accurate. I wrote some parts of that. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, I'm, like, I'm perfectly okay with living in a world like this, where we get to have Luigi with a massive schlong and Zelda with <laughs> massive fucking <laughs> <laughs> and mess with boobies. I'm also, okay. It's, it's funny. This all, you know, we all mentioned this, and I still remember the fact that in order for Disney to get the rights of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, you know, Walt Disney's first creation that wasn't Mickey Mouse, they traded a fucking living human being for the for the rights of the character. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah, they traded Al, um, Al Michaels, who was a sportscaster for, e for ESPN, to Universal. They're like, we'll trade him for basically Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. That's for terrible. We will, we will trade well, no, him no, I mean, the guy show. had an option also. Like, the guy was perfectly fine with it, too. He yeah. was like, yeah, like I'm, I'll be fine working with Universal. And to be kind of honest, I think it's pretty cool they want to get Oswald back. I'm going to be in the... He even said, and I quote... I'm gonna be a trivia on the back of a card someday. Aww. I'm sorry, uh, that is- that is- okay, I don't like this character, but that is the most Dumbledore quote ever. <laughs> like, you can do anything you want to- like, literally, when- when he was getting stripped of his titles, he just said, just don't take me off the card. <laughs> don't take me away from the chocolate frog card. It is kind of, it, it, kind of it is, although it is kind of amusing that despite Disney getting the rights of Oswald, they haven't done much with him, which is yes. kind of annoying. Yeah, like, they're, 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 like, they're probably just they're probably just waiting to spring a trap on us. Yeah. Like they pretty I, much they did announce back for Disney Plus, hey, ouch. we're gonna do an animated cartoon series and for Oswald. 
Did they cancel it? They canceled it. Why? Aww. From what I heard, the guy who was the guy of shorts la like last year was like, "Hey, there's still stuff in the works with Oswald. Like we haven't totally given up on it. It's just the last two years have been a little bit difficult to I get mean, stuff fair. in production." I do understand where that's coming from. I really, um, I do want to see the character come back. Have him interact with Mickey for fuck's sakes. That'd be hilarious. Who are you? Get your I ass you, out of the fucking different. shit. He doesn't come until I the next you, star. Ah. Oh, well, it says, uh, says uh, plunder into the ship. Shit. Oh god. Get to the surface. Those now. eels are fucking terrifying. It's fucking Mickey and Oswald meeting up, and like Oswald's like, "Hey, Mickey, I haven't seen uh, you for actual uh, fucking decades. How have you been?" Well done. <laughs> I mean, to Good be, save, Colton. I mean, there is technically Epic Mickey, but it only mm -hmm. got two games. What? E <laughs> I do remember that vaguely. They were the good. They were good. Although the, the second the second game did have Oswald voice, and it got Fre and I think they got Fred Willard to voice him, aka the voice of Fred, which he used the his Fred voice. He used his Fred voice to <laughs> to voice Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> 